Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to an ESPN NFL 2K5 franchise dynasty run with the Philadelphia Eagles and we have a very special episode for you today. Not one, not two, but three games all in one episode. The entire NFC East is going to be our next three games starting with our trip to Dallas to face the Cowboys. So let's check out our injury report. As always, we have Donovan McNabb on the injury report for the rest of the year with his torn ACL. Joining him on the torn ACL train is Todd Pinkston and Carell Buckhalter will be out for the remainder of these three games. So we have Philadelphia versus Dallas, two elite defenses and two offenses that could be better, but they do have weapons. And before we go any further, I would love it if you could subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 500. I'm hoping this video helps propel us over 100 subscribers, and that is the goal I'd like to set for this video to get to. Also, liking or commenting on the video always helps with that engagement. So let's jump right into it. Eagles at Cowboys. Let's do this thing, and welcome to Dallas Cowboys Stadium in Irving, Texas. We've got Philadelphia standing tall at 7-2. Facing the Dallas Cowboys, currently at 4-4 four four overall, but are always a dangerous opponent for the Philadelphia Eagles. And the Cowboys, of course, have Keyshawn Johnson, and the Eagles have their cheat code in the form of Terrell Owens. The Eagles will get the possession first off of the coin toss, and Brian Westbrook has the first run of the game, spinning out of one tackle and getting dragged down by Starks for a gain of two yards. Second and eight, Blake dropping back to pass, and he gets promptly dropped by Willie Blade, a big sack and a loss of six yards. Get used to hearing Willie Blade's name today because on the very next play, third down, he comes right through again and sacks Blake for another drop and loss of five yards, and we are getting right back into Cowboys territory. First and 10, Quincy Carter finds Terry Glenn for nine yards, and on the next play, Julius Jones gets up the middle for four yards. Dawkins and Shepard in there on the stop. That gives up first and 10 from the Philadelphia 23. Carter slings it over the middle to Terry Glenn, who gets 22 yards, but is stopped just short of the goal line. We have a first and goal from the Philadelphia one. The first pass is deflected away by Lito Shepard. Incomplete. Second down. Julius Jones is going to get the call, and he runs into Jeremiah Trotter, who takes him down. I don't know how that wasn't a touchdown, but they called it not a touchdown. And on the third down, the line gets through again. Simon Owen Trotter combined for the stop. And Billy Cundiff is there for the 19-yard field goal. The Cowboys draw blood first. It is now 3 to nothing. Dallas. The Eagles taking back over at their own 20, and Blake is promptly sacked by Willie Blade for another loss of five yards. That's three sacks already. We're barely into the first quarter. Blake finally completes one to Terrell Owens. That's a 23-yard gain and a first down for the Philadelphia Eagles. Westbrook tries to get something and gets nothing. Willie Blade in there again for the stop. And on the very next play, Dexter Coakley jumps right in front of that pass from Jeff Blake. That is an interception. And the Cowboys have started this game exactly the way that they want to. They haven't had the ball behind their own 50-yard line quite yet. And Dexter Coakley, the free agent signing, gets right in front of that pass from Jeff Blake. He was already throwing it into an absolute mess of defenders there, and the Cowboys have the ball heading back the other way. First and 10 from Philadelphia's 42. Jones gets the toss to the right side. He's going to manage five yards out of this one. Jammer and Dawkins combined for the stop. Second down, Jones is going to get another call here running off to his right side. Trotter is there to make sure he doesn't cross the first down line, but on the third down, Julius Jones does indeed cross that first down line, and then some Brian Dawkins chasing him down, making sure it's only a six-yard gain. We're now on the Philadelphia 27 and a fresh set of downs. Antonio Bryant gets that catch, Wayne and Shepard there to quickly take him down. Second and five, Quincy Carter looking over the middle to his tight end, Sean Ryan complete for seven yards, another fresh set of downs. Carter throws over the middle, this time Sheldon Brown tries to take it away, can't quite get it, incomplete pass. And on the next play, Carter throws it up. It's going to be deflected here by Michael Lewis. Gets bounced up by a couple of Eagles defenders and is caught by Keyshawn Johnson in the end zone. He rightfully strikes a pose. And the Cowboys are up 10 to nothing already in this game. 10 to nothing is the lead for the Dallas Cowboys. You can see that little hot potato flying past four different Eagles defenders into the hands of Keyshawn Johnson. The first down pass from Blake there is incomplete to McMullen, but the defensive pass interference is called on the Dallas Cowboys a little bit too enthusiastic on the pass coverage. That's going to be a big first down all the way up at the 38. Westbrook trying to get something going on the ground, only manages three yards on that one. And then Blake throwing up to Freddie Mitchell, had his man, but just outside of his outstretched arms, that one falls incomplete. Third and seven, Blake dropping back, trying to keep the drive alive. Has Owens wide open. He takes it in. He's the guy you got to throw to when you have a third and long. He gets 32 yards on the catch. A beautiful reception there. 
from Tio, and we just have to take another look at it. He is all alone. Blake over underthrows him just slightly, but Tio makes the adjustment in midair, takes it in a 32 yard gain, and that is going to do it for the first quarter of action. After one, the Cowboys are on top, 10 to nothing on the Philadelphia Eagles. First and 10 from Dallas is 26. Blake dropping back, looking for Chad Lewis. That one is going to fall incomplete, seemingly defended by the Cowboys linebacker. Brian Westbrook getting the draw in a little bit of space this time, six yards on the gain before the tackle from Mitchell. Third and four, Blake looking around and he is going to get sacked again by who else but Willie Blade for a loss of three yards. David Akers would make the chip shot field goal that puts the Philadelphia Eagles on the board three to 10. And the next play, Lito Shepard wants the Eagles on the board a little bit more. He intercepts the pass from Quincy Carter and he is gone. Gets a great block from his teammate and he is back in the end zone. And just like that, in the flash of seconds, the Eagles have tied this thing up in the span of two plays. It is now 10 to 10 and the Eagles have come screaming right back into this one. You can see the block thrown by Javon Kirst there to help Lido turn on the Jets and get into the end zone for another pick six to his name. And Dallas will take back over Carter getting his first pass deflected there at their own 29. Carter drops back again on second down and manages to find Glenn on that pass for a gain of eight yards. Shepard's chasing for the tackle. Julius Jones gets the call in the next one. He bounces to the outside and he has some room to work. He gets outside of Brian Dawkins who is in pursuit and gets him down after a 40 yard gain from the rookie Julius Jones rumbling over to that right side. First and 10 now from the Philadelphia 18. Jones runs up the middle into a wall. First one there was Ike Reese, the backup middle linebacker. Second and 11. Carter gets his pass deflected in the end zone by Michael Lewis. Every time I see a ball bounce up in the air now, I get very, very nervous. And it's third down and nice and close for the Cowboys. Carter throws one to Glenn. That pass is incomplete. Jammer there on the defense. And we have another field goal, a 36-yarder from Billy Cundiff this time getting through the uprights. The Cowboys get the lead back, but again, it's only a three-point lead, 10 to 13. Now the score here in Dallas. Philadelphia taking back over at their own 25. Westbrook trying to get loose, almost gets around Washington, but can't get around him, a seven-yard gain for Brian Westbrook. Second and three, Blake gets his pass deflected at the line by, you guessed it, Willie Blade. Third down, Blake gets back to and throws it over the middle to Billy McMullen, our backup's backup. Getting a reception there for 15 yards. Move those chains. Philadelphia on their own 47. Blake throwing to the left side. Finds Brian Westbrook as he gets hit and manages to get a small gain of one yard instead of a sack of a big one. And then on the second and nine, Blake throws over the middle. Finds T.O. who had a step on Woodson. Gets a 26-yard gain. Starts there on the stop. We're now in Dallas territory on their 26. Blake throws over the middle to Brian Westbrook. Once again, underthrows his man. That one is going to fall incomplete. Second and 10. Bruce Perry, the rookie, getting the draw play. We were hoping he would do something, and he did less than nothing. A loss of two on the play, but never mind. We have T.O., who has a step on his defender, gets inside of the safety, and is in there for the touchdown. A 28-yard completion to Terrell Owens, and our cheat code has the Eagles back on top by a score of 17-13. to 13. The Cowboys will take right back over, looking to strike right back. Jo Julius Jones looking to maintain his success from the last time. Gets nothing up the middle there. Trotter and Lewis in there on the stop. Second and 10, Carter is going to sling to his right side to nobody. That pass is incomplete. Third and 10 already. Carter gonna drop back on the right side dropout and is gonna throw over the middle to Antonio Bryant who has a step on Shepard and Dawkins misses the pass deflection. Michael Lewis chases him down all the way up at the Philadelphia 19. That's a 47 yard gain and another big play given up by this Philadelphia defense. Julius Jones draws to his left side for six yards on the first play in Philadelphia territory. That's Nate Wayne on the stop. Second to four, Jones runs up the middle for three yards and Wayne and Lewis are in there to keep it as a third down and on the third and one, the Philadelphia defense manages to keep them behind the line one more time. And Billy Cundiff would take the 26-yard field goal to take the score up to 17-16. to And that would do it for the first half of play. Going into halftime, Philadelphia hanging on to a slight lead. You can see we're doing well passing the ball, not doing as great running the ball. But 141 yards to our name as the Cowboys are rocking 186 yard total and a little bit more of a balanced offense and are winning the possession game. So the Cowboys putting up a really good fight here in Dallas so far, but we are holding the lead going into the third quarter. So let's see if we can sustain 
that success moving into the second half. The Cowboys will take over possession moving into the second half. Julius Jones getting the call right away and the run up the middle gets no gain thanks to Brian Dawkins. Second down, Quincy Carter dropping back, throwing it over to the left side. Quinton Jammer is there for the pass deflection, making sure it falls incomplete. And on third down, Carter dropping back in the shotgun formation, throwing to his left. That one going to be in and out of the hands of Keyshawn Johnson, perhaps. The impending hit from Brian Dawkins had something to do with that, but it will be Eagles ball regardless. Westbrook gets no gain up the middle on first down. Second down on the play action pass. Blake is looking around, can't find anyone he sees open, tries to scramble, and gets absolutely punished by Ellis for the sack this time. A sack from someone that isn't Willie Blade, but don't you worry, the very next play, Willie Blade, feeling left out, gets another sack for a loss of six, and the Cowboys will get the ball right back. Julius Jones gets the first run of the first down and gets to the left for two yards. Second and eight, Carter rolling to his right, passing to his left. This time it's going to fall incomplete instead of getting a huge gain. Third and eight, Carter dropping back in the shotgun and again throws it to the left side we think that was an incomplete pass but the refs disagree philadelphia gets hit with a defensive pass interference penalty call against sheldon brown and that one is going to keep possession in the dallas cowboys hands this time taking over their first down from their own 44 carter finds antonio bryant complete for 16 yards on the left side first and 10 from philadelphia territory julius jones getting the draw to the left side for three yards trotter and dawkins in there for the stop second and seven now carter dropping back gets it away before he gets the hit but that one drops incomplete dropped by his tight end on the left side there Third and seven, Carter looking around. This one's going to be picked off finally by Sheldon Brown. He had his hands on a couple of them, but this interception falls into his hands and another turnover forced by this Eagle defense. Give him the 360 dunk and the Philadelphia Eagles take back over on their own 33. Westbrook gets the call up the middle, trying to get some daylight for himself, and he hasn't gotten much yet. Lots of shade out there. This one in the form of Wynn and Coakley. Second and eight, Blake fires one over the middle to Freddie Mitchell, complete for 20 yards. Woodson and Williams there on the stop, but the Philadelphia Eagles have a first down in Dallas territory. Restbrook only getting two yards again on the play. Tried to get a sweep to the right that time. Starks and Washington were there to shut it down quickly. Second and eight. This time that we're getting a pass over the middle. Carter incomplete, but again, we get a penalty called. The flag is on Dallas. It's going to be a defensive holding call, and the Eagles have their drive stay alive thanks to the penalty. First and 10 from the Dallas 42. Blake throws it over the middle as he's hit. Pass is incomplete, and we get a second down. This time, Westbrook's going to get a toss to the left side, and you guessed it, two yards. Spins out of one tackle, and then gets taken down by Williams. Third and eight, and Blake is going to get, and uh, you guessed it, he's going to get sacked again. This one was by Glover, a loss of five. The Cowboys take right back over, trying to get the lead once again in this game. Jones, not the best way to start it. Gets no gain on the run to the left side. Nate Wayne there to stop him. Second and 10. Carter's going to pass this time. Dropping back, looking around, throwing it to the left. This one's deflected by the rookie, Matt Ware. Incomplete. Third and 10 to keep the drive alive. Carter in the shotgun again, rolling out to his left, firing to Glenn on the right side, who hauls it in between two Eagles defenders. A 16-yard gain to keep the drive going. Julius Jones gets ahead of the line this time. Manages to slip out of two tackles before Michael Lewis takes him down and that is going to bring us to the fourth quarter of this one the Eagles continue to hold on to the lead no scoring happened in that third quarter it is 17 to 16 Philadelphia but the Cowboys have very much a chance and a big run from Julius Jones is only going to help them Dawkins forces him out of bounds after a 22 yard gain and then Jones gets up the middle for no gain thanks to Mark Simono in for the injured Donnie Jones doing his thing and on the second and 10 Jones gets the call again gets to the left side gets a little bit of space Dawkins drags him down but the rest would spot it as a 10-yard gain and a first down at the Philadelphia 28 Carter looking to throw it gets deflected by curse on release we have a second down Carter looking to pass again drops back throws it over to the left side to Keyshawn Johnson who has the catch shakes out of a tackle and gets tackled by Lido Shepard it is a third and two Jones gets the toss to the right side and he gets the two Trotter brings him down but he tosses him over the line and the refs spot the ball accordingly it's going to be just over the line for that first down and the Cowboys will retain possession at the Philadelphia 18 on the first and 10 Carter dropping back floats one up for Keyshawn Johnson who hauls it in inside of a sea of Eagles defenders and immediately we have a first and goal from the Philadelphia one on the first down you think that one is in Dan Campbell's hands but the refs call him out of bounds there's no challenge from the, the Cowboys so he must have been out of bounds the second and goal opportunity for Jones on the left he gets stopped quickly by Javon Curse. and on the third down the Eagles defense stands tall again but Billy Cundiff is there for the chip shot 
and it is good. And the Cowboys retake the lead now up 19 to 17 on the Eagles here at home. Blake misses Chad Lewis on his first throw. That one is dropping right out of his hands. And wouldn't you know it, it's been happening all game. Willie Blade breaks through the guard line and he sacks Blake for a big loss on the play. And this time we get that pass over the middle to Owens. It's called a fumble on the miss. And we knew that it wasn't a fumble. It, we just didn't want to give them possession there rather than punting the ball away. So we challenge and we were right and the challenge is successful, and it's called an incomplete pass, so even though we had to punt it away, it's better giving them the ball back on their own 34, unless you immediately give up a 27-yard run, which is exactly what we did right here. And we gave up a 27-yard run to Julius Jones, and all of a sudden, we basically took one play for the Cowboys to get immediately back where they would have if we didn't challenge the play, but c'est la vie, choices are choices, at least we got the challenge right. The second and 10, Carter throws it incomplete to Keyshawn Johnson, and on the third and 10, we think that we're going to stop them here. They're not in field goal range. It's going to be all good. And they complete a beautiful pass to Antonio Bryant, who gets out of two tackles, throws a nasty stiff arm, and gets a 21-yard gain to put the Cowboys right inside of that red zone. It's actually a goal line stand right here. We're on the eight, and Julius Jones is going to take that thing eight yards straight to the house. That is 17 to 26 now, the lead for the Dallas Cowboys. Not a lot of time left in this one. The Eagles really only have this one final drive to keep themselves in it on the first and 10 from the Philadelphia 20 after the touchback. That's just a rough looking pass to Owens there, falling incomplete to the turf. Second and 10, Blake throws it over the middle. That one's deflected by Roy Williams, who is an absolute menace back there. Third and 10, to keep the drive alive, to keep the game alive, you know who it's going to. It's going to T.O. Once again, an underthrown pass. It's been the case all day, but T.O. hauls it in for 25 yards. First and 10, Blake finds T.O. immediately after that for a gain of 16 yards, and all of a sudden, the Eagles are marching down the field. Blake throws another one to T.O., who is somehow left open for 24 yards. And on that first and 10 from the Dallas 15, we get Westbrook on the flat this time, has a little bit of room to work, jerks out of one tackle and gets taken down by the shoelaces. We have a first and goal. The first opportunity from Jeff Blake there goes incomplete. I think he was looking for T.O. over the middle. Second and goal. Blake throwing to the left side. This one outside of the hands of his receiver. Another incomplete pass. Third and goal. Dropping back. Throwing over the middle. That one's deflected by a Dallas defender. What do you know? An incomplete pass. we got to go for it on the fourth down. We have Brian Westbrook, and it is in and out of his hands. Dropped. Turnover on downs. The Cowboys would run this one out, and the Eagles have dropped their first game in the Jeff Blake era for this franchise dynasty. We are going to jump right into the next game after checking in with the stats, so don't go anywhere, but this is our first loss over under the Jeff Blake quarterback era. We are missing Donovan McNabb for sure, but really what we were missing was a running game. You can see we only managed 18 yards on the ground. Once we started falling behind, we started throwing the ball more for sure. You can see that Jeff Blake did okay, the best he could, 221 yards in total, one touchdown and one interception on 11 attempts, or I'm sorry, 11 completions on 25 attempts. You know, he could have had a worse day, but you know, he could have had a better day as well. Brian Westbrook, 10 attempts, 20 yards. We definitely handled him with like very, very like porcelain gloves. I would say we don't want him to get hurt, but we didn't use him at all today and we need to fix that. Tio had seven receptions, 174 yards and a touchdown. So that's basically all but 50 yards of the passing yards went to Tio and that's just how it goes sometimes. Brian Dawkins did his best in the secondary coming down with 10 total tackles. Michael Lewis right behind him with eight total tackles. No sacks for us, but six sacks for Willie Blade. You just really dislike to see that at all times, but what are you going to do about it? And our guys in the secondary also had a tough day. Lido and Sheldon did have those two interceptions, though. So we're going to move on from that one. We did drop the game to the Cowboys, who moved to 5-4, and four, and we are 7-2 and two now on the season. That was only our second loss on the year. And we're going to move right into the next game against the Washington football team. We'll check out where our injuries have progressed. Luckily, we're not getting anyone else on the injury report from the last game. We only have two more weeks without our backup running back, Corral Buckhalter. And uh, we're just going to go right from there. We're going to get into this next game with the Washington football team. We quickly decided to pick up another wide receiver since Todd Pinkston was going to be out for the year. So new rookie, PK Sam, welcome to the squad. And without further ado, let's check out our tale of the tape against the Washington football team. You can see we have a much better overall than them. And hopefully this is a good subject for us to get back into the win column.
This is game two of our three game NFC East gauntlet and we're ready to roll right into this thing. Eagles versus the Washington football team. Round two here at the link. We're back in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at Lincoln Financial Field. This is going to be our only home game throughout this three game NFC East stand. And we're here in Philadelphia hosting the Washington football team. The home crowd is ready to see their Philadelphia Eagles do their thing. The, Eagle, the defense is pumped up and ready, but it's the offense that's going to take over first, and this time the offense wastes no time. Blake completes one over the middle to T.O. for a big gain of 22 yards. Sean Taylor in there on the tackle. Brian Westbrook gets the next run, only gets one yard out of that one, but Blake drops back and drops a deep one into T.O., who hauls that one in inside of two Washington defenders and hits the Jets for another big gain of 40 yards. T.O has 60 yards of offense here in the first drive of the entire game but on the next play Blake is going to get sacked by Noble and fumble the ball and that one is going to be picked up by Washington a big turnover for the Washington football team right at the start of the game you can see big Brandon Noble getting through without anybody touching him no none of the Eagles guards even looked at him as he rolled through and Washington falls on the fumble and take over at the Washington 26. Mark Brunel on his first pass is incomplete to the right side. We have a second and 10. Brunel does the same thing again, this time off of the hands of one of his receivers. We get a third and 10 right away. Brunel rolls over to his left side, throws over to his right side, finds James Thrash in motion, and that is a gain of 16 yards to keep the Washington drive alive. Clinton Portis gets a big run to the left side. He counters left, gets 11 yards on that one. Michael Lewis there to stop it from going any further. Portis tries the counter left for a second time, and the Eagles defense won't be fooled that second time in a row. Nate Wayne gets in there for the tackle, and that time on the second down gets only one yard up the middle, and that one is going to be a stop from Jeremiah Trotter. Portis gets the shuffle pass from Brunel and tries to sneak out the first down, but he can't quite do it, only getting seven yards, and the Eagles will take right back over. Westbrook getting four yards on that first down run to the right side. Second down, Blake looking around, throws it over to Chad Lewis, who's in and out of his hands. That one's going to fall incomplete. This is a third and six. Blake dropping back, throwing it over the middle. It's going to fall incomplete, but Washington gets smacked with that pesky defensive pass interference call, keeping the Eagles drive alive. They now have a fresh set of downs on their own 31. Westbrook gets the toss to the left side, and as you can say, most likely that the ball do not lie. That has a gain of nothing. Blake tries to throw it to his new toy, PK Sam, who has it in his hands and drops it on contact. I'd probably drop the ball if I got hit that hard when I was trying to catch it as well. Third and 10, Blake dropping back, throwing it to Freddie Mitchell, who is now taking over as the second option with Todd Pinkson out for the rest of the year. Hauls that one in. It is complete, manages to keep both of his feet in bounds. That's a great gain of 24 yards. Westbrook finally gets some space up the middle and manages a great run of 15 yards, a little shake and bake there through the middle with his speed and his agility. Blake throws it to Chad Lewis over the middle. That one gets deflected away by the Washington safety. That one is incomplete. Blake pass it deflected by LeVar Arrington over the middle that time on the play action pass is the words I was looking for. Third and 10. Blake throwing over to Westbrook on the right side who's going to haul it in. Tries to make something out of it but Smoot makes sure he goes down. This is a 44 yard field goal from David Akers. It's going to sail just left outside of the uprights. That one is no good and the Eagles failed to get on the board. That was a very makeable kick from David Akers there, but it's going to be no good. Washington taking over on their own 35. Brunel's pass deflected by Mark Simono there, going to bring up a second down action. Clinton Portis runs it up the middle, only going to get four yards on that one. Simono again getting involved with the tackle. Third and six. Brunel throws it over the left side. Dawkins misses the pass deflection, and Lavernius Coles has a great game there. It's going to be a big one. 431 yards down the field. First and 10 now. Brunel complete to Rod Gardner. Two completions in a row. Two first downs in a row. They take over at the Philadelphia 19. Porters goes up the middle for two yards. Wayne and Trotter, the linebackers there for the stop. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. We have a scoreless first going into the second quarter. We are all tied up here at the link. Second and 10 for Mark Brunel and the Washington football team. He passes it to Coles. That one nearly intercepted by Michael Lewis in and out of his hands. And maybe Michael Lewis was telling the future because for the second game in a row, Lido Shepard is going to step in front of that one and take the ball away. Gets the interception. Not quite a pick six this time, but we will take the pick. 
Regardless, the Philadelphia crowd is loving it, and we'll take a look at that one one more time. The Eagles defense was sitting in a zone. Shepard steps right in front of that laser that he was trying to put into Rod Gardner's hands, and we have a big turnover forced by the Philadelphia defense, and Brian gets right into that offense. Spins out of one tackle, has some afterburners, jukes away from another, and is going to get a 13-yard game. Crockett in there on the stop, but it is a fresh set of downs for the Eagles, and then Jeff Blake gets sacked. This one by Haley for a loss of six. Six and second and 16 coming up. Blake is then again sacked by Noble for a loss of four. And we have a third and 20, a very, very large and impending third down. And we drop it off to Tio here and just take the yards that we're going to get. It's only a six yard gain, and the Eagles would elect to punt this one away. Washington taking over from their own 43. Brunel's going to find Lavernius Coles on the little floater. He gets 12 yards and a fresh set of downs on the first play for Washington. Portis is going to counter to the right side. Jeremiah Trotter, the first one to get him. It's going to be no gain. Second and 10. Brunel throws it over to the right side. Quentin Jammer is there to put his hand on the ball. Incomplete pass for Washington. And on the third down, they're really loving that shovel pass on third down. Only a three-yard gain. The Eagles will take the ball right back. First and 10. Blake is going to throw to LJ Smith. This one bouncing off of his shoulder pad. Incomplete brings up a second down. And the sack party has begun for the Washington football team. The linebacker Henry Crockett breaks through on the blitz for the sack and a loss of five. And then Blake feeling the pressure on the third down. Tries to get out of there, avoids the sack, but gets tackled by the shoestrings by Matt Rieger, the free agent signing for the Washington football team, and they will get the ball right back. Now on the first and 10 from the Philadelphia 42, Brunel is complete to Coles, and there's going to be a defensive pass interference called, and that would give great field position back to the Washington football team, not like starting in your enemy territory isn't great field position, but it's going to be made even better by Lavernius Coles getting a 14-yard gain on the pass from Brunel there, and on the very next play, he finds Clinton Portis on the flat, Nate Wayne misses the tackle, and that is a big 14-yard gain after the 14-yard gain, and suddenly it's a first and goal for the Washington football team. Portis shakes and bakes out of one tackle, can't get out of the second tackle by Jeremiah Trotter, that's going to be a big gain of seven in yards. Second and goal from the one-yard line, Portis gets the call again. That time Simono is there to make sure he stays out of the end zone. And on the third and goal, Portis takes the run one more time and absolutely vaults over the Eagles line to get into the end zone. That's going to be a touchdown for the Washington football team. You can see that again here. What an awesome animation for a game from 2004. Gets the vault over the line and that's, I mean, just more disaster. I couldn't even finish talking about how they got into the end zone for the touchdown and LeVar Arrington is immediately right back into the touchdown. And before halftime is even here, the Washington football team is suddenly up 14 to nothing, and the Eagles take their ball and go back home. And by go back home, I mean get sacked again by Noble for a loss of three yards. It's going to be a second and 13. P.K. Sam going to get his first reception here for the Philadelphia Eagles. A nice gain of 14 yards. First and 10 from the Philadelphia 31. Blake dropping back. You got to toss the T.O. when you got big gains that need to be made. This one's going to get a few extra yards on the run from T.O. The 30-yard gain in the Eagles will take a timeout trying to get into this end zone or get, get some kind of score before halftime is here. Blake throws it up to McMullen on the left side. It's going to be incomplete or deflected or something like that. Second and 10, Blake throws it up to Owens. He didn't time that one quite right. That one falls to turf. Incomplete. Third and 10, Blake dropping back. You know he's throwing to Owens here, and it's going to be deflected by, I believe that was Smoot covering him over on that left side. Might have been Sean Springs. Who knows? Who cares? Fourth and 10, Blake slinging it over the middle. This time, T.O. is going to haul that one in for a gain of 21 yards. Sean Springs getting the tackle that time. First and 10, fresh set of downs. Washington 18, and you know what's coming. Blake getting sacked by Noble for a loss of six. Second and 16, Blake throwing over the middle to Chad Lewis, and Chad Lewis has had a tough game, ladies and gentlemen. The max Chad has not been very maxed today. And on the third down to keep it alive again, this one is not staying so alive. Sean Taylor says, thank you very much. I will take that intercepts the pass and that is going to take us into halftime with Washington roaring forward both on their offense and their defense getting that takeaway here by Sean Taylor and also striking twice before the half ends to go up by a score of 14 to nothing you can see that the Eagles have committed three turnovers so far in the game two big ones one of which led to the score by the Washington football team and we go into halftime by the score of 14 to nothing. The Eagles are in a little bit of a hole here at home. Let's see if they can stage some sort of a comeback. This NFC East gauntlet is seeming like a gauntlet for sure. But here's some of the good news. We're out throwing them 
and we've already done pretty much double of the rushing yards than we did against the Cowboys, so we have some positives that we can work off of. We have outgained them in total. We have more time of possession. I mean, six sacks to none is ridiculous, but we'll try and get back into this thing. On the first and ten, Washington, they get called for a fumble on the reception. You know how this goes, everybody. It's a bang-bang play. Washington's going to challenge this one. You can see the replay right here. Brunel dropping back, finding Rod Gardner. He catches it. He gets hit almost right away. The ball drops away. They call it a fumble. It's obviously not a fumble. The Washington challenge is successful. They would not be charged a timeout. It'd be called an incomplete pass. We have a second and 10. And on the second and 10, Clinton Portis would get a counter play. He gets some daylight. And Clinton Portis is loose, ladies and gentlemen. He shakes off Brian Dawkins. He shakes off... Lito Shepard, he's streaking down the sideline, gets past the 15, the 10, the 5, when Quentin Jammer finally chases him all the way down. That's a 76-yard run, and we only need one more play. Now, this is when we are at our, this is rock bottom right here. That pass was caught by Jim Molinaro, who is a freaking guard. He's a guard, everybody. We got a touchdown scored on us on a reception from a guard whose half of his big old body was in the end zone, and that one is going to be a touchdown. We are done down 21 to nothing almost immediately, and hopes of a comeback are becoming slim very quickly, but Brian Westbrook is not down and out yet. He puts an eight-yard gain up on that run. John Ritchie, the fullback, getting his first call of the day, fights forward for five yards, and we get a first down. Blake is going to drop back, looking around to pass this one. You know who it's going to if we can throw it there. We're going to throw it at T.O. He's going to catch it. There's a pass interference called. We would decline it. That is a 20-yard gain for the Eagles. We are in Washington territory. Westbrook is going to run right side, spins out of a tackle, only gets one yard out of that one. The Washington defense is definitely swarming today, and so is Henry Crockett. He gets his second sack of the day. It's a loss of six, and that is seven sacks already given up by this Eagles offense. But to keep this one alive... We're not keeping this one alive. It's incomplete up to Sam. We get a nice punt, though. We put him right back against the wall. Clinton Port is going to get that first run there. No gain. Curse and Wayne in there on the stop. Second and ten. We're trying to get the safety out of this one. Portis is going to count to the left side. Gets a little bit of daylight, but only gets a four-yard gain out of that run. Third and six now. They're going to get a little bit more, but only one yard. We're going to get the ball right back. And in a good field position, we're taking over from the Washington 40. Westbrook's going to get a little bit of space in front of him. Jukes away from one tackle, but he gets down after six yards. Second and four is the call. Bruce Perry getting to the left for about four yards. LeVar Arrington, of course, LeVar Arrington is there for it. And on the third and inches, Westbrook bounces off of one of his linemen. He gets swallowed up by Rieger, and we're like, absolutely not. We have to. We have to. We had to go for it. If we didn't get it, it was, we were really going to be in trouble, but luckily we got it. Four yards on the game. Brian Westbrook keeps the drive alive. Jeff Blake finding P.K. Sam on this one. Sam's second reception of the day. We might have a new somewhat favorite target for Jeff Blake, the rookie, getting in there from free agency. Westbrook only getting another yard on the right side. LeVar Arrington always there to make sure that the run game is shut down quickly. Blake tossing one up to Owens, who is wide open on that left side. He beat his man and was all alone. No safety help. And Philadelphia is finally on the board with the touchdown. They've shaken off the rust. They've shaken off the little offensive drought. And it is now 7 to 21. Brunel shovel passes one to Chad Morton for no game. The fullback trying to make something happen there. And we go into the fourth quarter, still down by two whole touchdowns, but not out of this game quite yet. There is definitely still time for a comeback for the Philadelphia Eagles. On the second and 10, Brunel throws it up to the left side, just out of the outstretched hands of both Lido Shepard and Lavernius Coles. That brings up a third down. Brunel goes back to the shovel pass on third down. And Nate Wayne is ready and waiting. The Eagles will take the ball back, getting the punt back on their own 44. Westbrook draws to the middle. Could have gone left there, tries to get something up the middle, and only gets two yards out of that one. Noble getting the tackle. Second and eight. Westbrook gets another run, shakes and bakes, gets a little shimmy shake on, and gets four yards out of that one. Third and four. Blake dropping back. Finds his guy, Chad Lewis. Max Chad comes through that time. Works through some defensive pass interference to take that one in. A 15-yard gain. We decline that one to take the stats. Westbrook gets a good block out of that one. Shakes out of a tackle. Arrington drags him down, but uses that momentum to get seven yards. And then on the second and three, Bruce Perry, the backup, the rookie, gets our four yards needed to get into that first down territory. Blake throws it up on the left side, and that one gets it gets intercepted. Y'all, we throw another intercession, but wait, we are going 
going to challenge it because we didn't think he made that catch out of bounds. We think he caught it. He got one foot down. And as you can see, that other foot clearly steps out of bounds on that one. And I love being right, everybody. That one is successful. We get the ball back. That turnover is flipped back into a not turnover. And we get another chance to get ourselves back into that end zone. Blake rolls out to his right side, fires one to PK Sam, who could have played the hero there, but it bounces off as his hands incomplete. Third and ten, a big throw coming up right here, and Blake makes big time throws. This one to Freddie Mitchell, a 20 yard gain on the slant route. We have a first and goal on the Washington four. Brian Westbrook does most of the work, spins out of a tackle. We thought he was in there, but we weren't ready to challenge again. And then on the second down, first and goal, we get in there for the touchdown. Westbrook getting a touchdown into his stat column and suddenly the Eagles are sniffing the lead. We're back within striking distance. Only a 14 to 21 gain. All we got to do is get the ball back. That's not the way you want to start it. They get an eight yard gain on that first completion there on the second and two. Portis counters left and we were ready for it. We got him for a loss of three. Nate Wayne in there getting credited for the stop. We're now dropping back. Big third down pass and Brian Dawkins makes big plays. He deflects that one away and the Eagles will take the ball back in the fourth quarter with a chance to score and tie this thing back up after being down 21 to nothing starting this big third quarter off. We got a big play to Freddie Mitchell there, a 19-yard gain, and on the very next play, Blake finds T.O. for a gain of 12 yards and a defensive pass interference, which we declined because we love getting defensive pass interferences, but still getting to count the stats. That's an incomplete pass from Blake on first down. On second down, we're going to get uh, another incomplete pass from Blake, that one getting in and out of T.O.'s hands. You don't see that that often, but every now and again, he gets hit and he can't hold on to the ball. Big third down coming on here. Jeff Blake sling it to the left side once again, in and out of T.O.'s hands. And on the fourth and ten, we decide to go for it one more time. Jeff Blake drives back. He throws just... This is an objectively bad pass. Freddie Mitchell didn't run the route correctly. It was a bad pass. It was floated up in the air, and the refs bailed us, okay? Listen, I'm not going to say that they didn't bail us, but I'm also not going to not accept it when they do bail us. We get a pass interference call, and the Eagles drive lives on. You could call it the script. I will call it whatever I want, but on the very next play, a big pass to Freddie Mitchell, 25 yards outside of the outstretched hands of the defender trying to keep that one away from him. You could call that one a Jeff Blake dime. And we are all tied up in this one, ladies and gentlemen. We got a tie ball game, 21 to 21. There's still plenty of time in this one. We are just under the two-minute warning. Portis gets to the left for one yard. Dawkins in there on the stop. Burnell throwing it to the right side. Finds Clinton Portis, who takes his momentum out of bounds. It's going to be a third and nine. Burnell trying to keep this thing alive for the Washington football team. Hauls one up to the left side. He's got Coles with plenty of space, and he hauls that one in for 20 yards. Dawkins with the tackle out of bounds. First and 10 from the Washington 45. Burnell dropping back, finding Rod Gardner on the quick sling to the right side. And Quentin General gets shaken up, but he would come pretty much right back into the game. Second and six, Portis gets a great run on that one. 11 yards over to the right side. Brown tackles him, but it's a fresh set of downs in Philadelphia territory. Portis runs it up the middle for only one yard on that one. Michael Lewis was in there quickly. Second down, Burnell dropping back, looking to pass. Slings it over to the left. That was inside of a sea of eagles. It drops off of somebody incomplete. This is a third and nine now. Rolling out to his left side is Burnell, and that one is once again deflected. And the Eagles with a chance to take this thing in regulation. Blake drops back, has T.O. over on the left side, and finds him. That's a 21-yard gain, and the Eagles' offense moves forward to their own 34. Blake rolling way deep for T.O. on that one, and that one was very dangerous to being picked off right there. Second and 10, Blake dropping back. You know he's throwing it to Owens every single time. He slings it to Owens, who dives for it, but they're, they're going to call a defensive... Uh, see, this is the script. This is definitely the script happening right here. The NFL script has been alive and well since 2004, and we're seeing it right here, keeping the Eagles alive. And let's just watch Jeff Blake throw a bunch of underthrows to make this thing go to overtime. First and 10, I guess that was a spoiler, incomplete to T.O. Second and 10, Blake dropping back, throwing to the right side. Once again, underthrows it. Can't find Freddie Mitchell in motion. That one deflected away by the Washington defender. And on the third and 10, we thought it would be a good idea to throw it to Billy McMullen, who has it and drops it. And that's going to do it for regulation. The Eagles come screeching all the way back in this one, down 21 to nothing 
a few minutes into the third quarter, score three times unanswered, and we are tied 21 to 21, though the Washington football team would take over after winning the coin toss. Burnell throws to the left side. I think he was trying to throw a screen pass there, but it would fall harmlessly to the ground, incomplete. Second and 10, Burnell dropping back again for the pass, slinging it long this time. Michael Lewis and Lito Shepard combining there for the pass deflection. Third and 10, really big play for the Washington team here. They don't want to give the Eagles good field position. Burnell finds Lavernius Coles over the middle. Shepard was on him, but not on him enough. That's a 12-yard gain move those chains. First and 10 from the Washington 40. Burnell throws it over to the right side. Sheldon Brown gets his hands on that one. That one is going to be incomplete. Second and 10, Portis gets that counter to the left side. It's been deadly all day, but Nduque Kalu says not this time. Mr. Running Back Devil. I don't know where I was going with that one. We have a third and ten. And Lavernius Coles working that magic once again. There was a pass interference called as well. They would decline and move on to Philadelphia territory. But then Brian Dawkins is like, that's it. That's all I'm giving you. I'm taking this thing and moving it back the other way. He steps into the floater from Mark Brunel. And he picks that one off for the Philadelphia Eagles. This defense has been stepping up big time all day today. And another turnover forced right there by the defense. First and 10 from the Philadelphia 38. Westbrook is moving and groving to his left side. He gets nine yards on that toss play. And on the second and one, John Ritchie does what he does best is basically just get enough for the first down. Two yards will be enough. And the Eagles move the chains to their own 49. Blake, not liking what he sees downfield, scrambles over to his right side, only manages two yards before getting smacked by Harris. That's a second and eight for the Philadelphia Eagles. On the second and eight, Westbrook gets up the middle, only going to get two yards on that one. Barrow in there for a quick tackle. Third and six for the Eagles, trying to keep their drive alive. Drops it on back. Jeff Blake looking around, rolling to his right, tries to throw it back to his left, and that one is going to fall incomplete. Washington will take the ball right back at their own 38. Brunel dropping back, also finding his favorite receiver multiple times in this late quarter, and that one is going to fall incomplete for a second and 10. On that second and 10, Brunel dropping back, going to his left side. Has Lavernius Coles there. That's going to be complete for something around 23 yards and a big, big, big play from the Washington football team. He throws left again. He's going to find James Thrash on the left side, making big moves down the field. That one's going to be for 23 yards. And then a 37-yard field goal by John Hall doinks off the upright, and we are still alive, baby. We're going to take the ball back over at our own 27, and the Washington team is reeling. They could have played done three plays. That was just the next play after that pass. They could have run the ball a few times. They could have gotten closer, but no, they chose to go for the field goal, and he doinks it. And it's our ball, and we're headed down the field, everybody. Blake completes one to TL. That one's going to be 23 yards, finally connecting on one over the top. Maybe momentum is a thing in this game. Westbrook getting over to the right side, almost runs his guard over, gets five yards on that play. LeVar Arrington has been absolutely all over the field today. Second and five, Blake throws it to our Max Chad, who has woken up here in the fourth quarter and overtime, completing that one for eight yards. First and 10 from the Washington 33. Westbrook has some space up the middle, shimmies for 12 yards, and we are not wasting any time. We know that David Akers can make 38 yarders in his sleep, and in his sleep, he does. The Philadelphia Eagles complete the total comeback. This was a 24-point comeback. After scoring that third touchdown early in the third quarter, the Washington football team did not sniff the end zone again, and the Philadelphia Eagles take this one in overtime, 24 to 21. So we are now 1-1 one one in our NFC East gauntlet. Jeff Blake gets back into the win column after dropping that tough one in Dallas, and we got our win here in Philadelphia for that home crowd. You can see despite four turnovers and just having way more time of possession, getting sacked a lot, we pull out the victory. We did great throwing the ball. Our running game figured itself out and a solid performance from the Philadelphia Eagles. Also a pretty solid performance from Jeff Blake. He was 19 for 41, 350 yards, two touchdowns. He did throw those three interceptions, but you know what? At the end of the day, a win is a win. Brian Westbrook, 24 attempts, 104 yards, one touchdown. It was really, really good to get Brian Westbrook back in the end zone again and to get him a few good runs where he was truly loose. T.O. had a monster day, 10 receptions, 210 yards, had a touchdown reception. Freddie Mitchell also did really, really solid, four receptions, 88 yards, also got into the end zone for a touchdown. And shout out to P.K. Sam, our new rookie, had a couple of really nice catches. 
Jeremiah Trotter led the way in tackles. He had eight total throughout the day. And of course, Brian Dawkins was the hero of the day, having those four big tackles and that one interception. That was the big force turnover there in overtime to give us the ball back that eventually led to us scoring that final field goal in overtime and taking that victory. So we're one and one in this NFC East gauntlet. We're feeling good heading into our third game of three. We are traveling to New York City to take on those football giants and we're just feeling good they're only sitting at five and five we're sitting at eight and two and despite the injuries that we face this year this philadelphia team is very much so looking like a dynasty we will take a look at that injury report one more time no new additions you can see here that Corel buckhalter is coming back from that torn calf muscle not this week but the week after that so this is going to be our last week rolling with brian westbrook as the starter and bruce perry as the backup Corel buckhalter will be taking those backup snaps in the next week and you can see the giants are in disarray this shouldn't be a hard one for us but we said that about the washington football team in the last game and they surprised us and they punched us in the mouth a little bit and we had some work to do now before we go any further i just want to ask you one more time especially if you've gotten this far to please check if you subscribe to the channel if you're liking this content your subscription really really helps me out a lot as does your likes and your comments and your interactions with this video so i want to thank you for getting this far i want to thank you for hanging out we always live stream these games as well so it'd be really cool to see you on a live stream or you can catch up on the content that way but without any further ado thanks for being here let's get into the final game of this nfc east gauntlet you can see that we are in beautiful new york city and the manhattan city skyline for this matchup against the New York Football Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome to the East Meadowlands, New Jersey, where the New York Giants faithful have gathered and are ready to, well, maybe welcome is not the right word, but the Philadelphia Eagles are in town, ready to take on their third of three opponents in this NFC East Gauntlet. The Eagles will win the toss and take over on first down. Brian Westbrook going up the middle, getting a loss of one on the first run of the day. Second and 11 then. Blake complete to Freddie Mitchell on the quick hook route. That's going to be an eight-yard gain. Third and three. Westbrook going to get the run, and he is not going to lose yards this time. He is going to do very much the opposite of losing yards. A 19-yard run to that left side, using those legs and that good speed to get something going there. Bruce Perry trying to keep the good running going. Gets a toss to the left side for for three yards it's going to bring up a second and seven and we are in new york territory at this point blake sling it over to the right side just out of the outstretched hands of tio who is very open but very much so incomplete it's going to bring up a third and seven blake having some time to throw we thought that was going straight to a new york defender i remember reacting very poorly to it and then very well once tf stepped in front and got that gain of 13 yards blake throwing it again this time up to chad lewis who continues his good play from the end of the washington game into this one that's going to be a 20-yard completion and Brian Westbrook is off to the races he bounces out of a tackle and uses the speed to get through the corner of the end zone that's going to be a touchdown for Brian Westbrook on the 13-yard run to that right side let's see that one one more time he bounce spins out of that one that looks like Omar Stoutmeyer trying to get that tackle and no other giant is going to touch him as he streaks into the end zone and the Eagles strike first here in the Meadowlands the home of Bruce Springsteen himself to go out to a gain or to a lead of seven to nothing. The first pass from Kurt Warner is complete to Jamar Taylor for 12 yards, but the second one is incomplete, falling back to the turf. That brings up a second and 10. Warner dropping back to pass, finding Ike Hilliard on the left side. Misses on the deflection from Lido Shepard means it's a 10 yard gain and a fresh set of downs for the New York Giants. Tiki Barber getting his first run to the left side, running like he's mad at Saquon Barkley, gets six yards on the gain to the left side. He gets another run to the right side, continuing to run like he's mad at Saquon Barkley. Another nine yards for Tiki over on the right side. Michael Lewis getting the tackle. We're now all the way up at the Philadelphia 38. Tiki Barber getting up the middle again, only getting one yard on the stop from Jeremiah Trotter. Second and nine, Warner dropping back. Throwing it over the middle. Tim Carter hauling that one in. It is a 16-yard gain. Brian Dawkins in on the stop. We're moving those chains forward into almost the red zone. And Barber takes it into the red zone. A gain of five yards. A tackle by Simon O combined with Dawkins. We get a second and five for the Giants. Barber getting it again. And this time Dawkins is in the backfield. He hits Tiki. Well, I don't know if you could say that he hits Tiki. But Barber gets to the left side. And he gets two yards out of that one. And Warner is going to be sacked by the big man, Corey Simon, that time. Breaking through the line finally getting a sack for the Eagles defense Matt Bryant will get the 35 yard field goal that kick is up and that kick is good the Giants do strike back but they don't strike back on the same level as the Eagles 
they'll take back over at their own 25 with the lead, 7 to 3. Westbrook gets the run on that one. He spins out of a tackle, gets two yards, and what do you know? Our glass cannon, also known as Brian Westbrook, is injured on the play. He would suffer a fractured arm. He'd be out for the game, and... <laughs> We'll show you how long he's out for after this game is over. Stick around if you want to see that. Blake finds T.O. on the hook route, a six-yard gain on that one. And then Bruce Perry, the rookie, coming in, getting the call, and immediately making something out of his opportunity. He gets a 10-yard gain to the right side, tackled by Stoutmeyer, and that is going to take us to the end of the first quarter. The Eagles jumping out to an early lead, getting into the end zone thanks to the now-injured Brian Westbrook. They are up 7-3 to three going into the second quarter. Now the second quarter begins. Jeff Blake does a little razzle-dazzle, avoids the blitz, finds it's P.K. Sam on the completion, our rookie free agent signing that we grabbed just before the Washington football game gets a 24-yard gain, and he is working out really well as our third option slot receiver so far. We might be seeing him next year. He may be making that cut to keep him around for a little bit. After the four-yard run by John Ritchie, well, you know, he can't catch them all. P.K. Sam drops that one. It is incomplete. And then Blake dropping back again, trying to find Freddie Mitchell, who has a step on his defender, bobbles that one up in the air and gets tackled. That one is finally incomplete. The 46-yard field goal by David Akers. He missed one shorter than this in the last game. He is not missing this one. That one is up and good from 46 yards. And the Eagles grow their lead. Now a score of 10 to 3. The Giants still within reach here. Handed off to Tiki Barber again. He's off to the left side. He gets Brian Dawkins off of him with that strong stiff arm again. Michael Lewis tackles him for a gain of five yards. Second and five. Warner dropping back, slinging it over to the right side. Ike Hilliard gets that one in step and gets 21 yards. Move those chains up to midfield for the New York Giants. Tiki Barber getting the run again. Jukes right out of the guard's way and gets tackled by Lito Shepard and Brian Dawkins gets three yards on that win. We're now officially in Eagles territory. Warner pushing it deeper into Eagles territory. Has Hilliard on the slant route again at his gain of 18 yards. Michael Lewis on the tackle. First and 10. Barber up the middle. Not going to get a gain this time. Trotter and Wayne, our two strongest linebackers, continue to be in for those big stops. Tiki Barber running to the left again, hoping to make that outside run work for him. This time, Mark Simono and Trotter are there to make sure he gets no gain. Once again, it's a third and 10. Warner dropping back, looking for something, and it's Corey Simon. Big Corey getting in there, getting his second sack of the day. I'm pretty sure that's his second sack of the season and the defensive line is starting to step up a little bit for these Philadelphia Eagles. Perry now the only running back on our team in for the injured Corel Buckhalter and Brian Westbrook gets six yards on the draw. Blake fires over the middle incomplete but we're going to get smacked with that defensive pass interference penalty on the New York Giants once again that's going to move the ball up to the 24 yard line for the Philadelphia Eagles and on the very next play what do you know another pass up another pass interference called on the New York Giants. This one is going to bring the ball all the way up to the 45-yard line for the Philadelphia Eagles. Continue to move those chains thanks to those past defensive interference calls. First and 10, rolling out to the right side, slinging it over to that right side. <laughs> you guessed it, another pass interference called on the New York Giants. This one's going to move us into Giants territory. Now we're all the way up at the Giants 36, and we finally decided to do something else with it. Bruce Perry gets the run up the middle, is only going to get about two yards on that play before Carlos Emmons could in there and get the tackle. Second and eight, Blake throwing it over the middle. It was in Mitchell's hands, and then he drops it on the hit. That one's going to be incomplete. Third and eight, Blake dropping back again, looking for his tight end, LJ Smith. The drop back from the cornerback was a good one. That one's going to be incomplete. We now have a 50-yarder from David Akers, and he is feeling himself today. That 50-yarder by David Akers is up and good. The Eagles extend their lead out to 13-3 to here in this one in the East Meadowlands. Warner trying to get this team back into the game. Throws that first one incomplete. We now have a second and 10 from the Giants' 20. He finds Amani Toomer that time on the little floater. Dawkins is there, but just a little bit too late. That's a big gain of 18 yards on the outstretched arms of Amani Toomer. Two receptions in a row this one Hilliard again on that cross that crossing slant route has been absolute murder for us so far but you know what isn't murder is getting a ball batted in the air and actually getting an interception out of it Quinton Jammer gets the double batted ball into his own hands and the Eagles will take back over off of that brilliant interception from Quinton Jammer he gets in there and recovers the ball as it was bouncing up in space and that is Quinton Jammer's first interception for the Philadelphia Eagles since they traded for him way back after week four after losing to the Carolina Carolina Panthers and the Eagles are going for gusto all again and they continue to get the benefit of the whistle another defensive pass interference call on the deep ball over the top to Terrell Owens they can't cover him today so they're fouling him instead and just like that we're all the way up at the Giants 49 
Going deep again, trying to react to the blitz. That one is going to fall incomplete to Freddie Mitchell. That's going to bring up its second and ten. Blake looking again for somebody downfield. We were never going to know who because it was deflected at the line. That one is going to fall incomplete. Third and ten. Blake looking around, throwing it up to the left side. That one's going to fall incomplete out of the hands of T.O. But there is a flag on the play, and we get bailed by the refs again. This one is going to be defensive holding called on the New York Giants. They can't believe it, and we're going to get a first and ten from the 44 on Giants territory. That first run is a good one. A seven-yard run from Bruce Perry. Second and three. Blake looking around. Does not see Simeon Rice. Simeon freaking Rice, who is traded from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to the Giants for Michael Strahan. A ridiculous trade that you would never ever see in real life, but that is the reality that we are facing here in this game against the New York Giants. And Simeon Rice, the superstar, takes the interception from Jeff Blake and runs that thing all the way back to the end zone without being touched by anyone else on the Eagles team. You see John Runyon giving chase. You see all of the offensive linemen trying to get back and recover. But Simeon Rice is too quick for everybody else. And the Giants are right back into this one by a score of 13 to 10. The Eagles still have the lead, but it is much smaller than it was when we started this game. Perry gets a run to the right side for six yards. And then Richie is up the middle with a bunch of space. Our big fullback is 22 yards on that one. And we decide to call a timeout because all of a sudden we're thinking about getting another score in before this half is over. Second and 10. Blake is going to throw it over the top to T.O. He's going to just, just get it out of his hands. That's going to be incomplete. We're going for our next play. Blake dropping back. Throwing over the middle. T.O. again. He's going to get five yards out of this one. That's going to bring up that third and five. And you know when we need a big play to happen? We're going to throw it to T.O. We get that slant over the middle. He catches it over the head of the defending Giants linebacker. And that's going to lead to a 41-yard field goal. And yeah. The Magic had to run out at some point. We aim this one too far to the right. David Akers hooks that one away. He made a 50-yarder, but he's not going to go ahead and make that 41-yarder. So we will go into halftime with the Eagles currently holding on to the lead by a score of 13-10. to But the Giants have that pick six thanks to Simeon Rice and have come rolling right back into this one. Looking at the tail of the stats here in halftime, we're running the ball just a whole lot better in this game, although we, we are sort of regretting the fact that Brian Westbrook got hurt, although that feels like you're playing with an inevitability when you're playing Brian Westbrook with a durability in the 50s. But the, the time of possession is pretty much the same. Both teams only turned the ball over once, although that turnover did turn into a score from the Giants. So we will see how we do here in the third quarter here in East Meadowlands playing the Giants. Now on the first and 10, Warner slings one deep here. It's going to fall away incomplete, deflected by one of the Eagles defenders. Second and 10, quick drop back this time from Warner, slings it to the left side. That one's also going to get knocked away. That one looks like it was bounced away by Brian Dawkins. On the third and 10, he has a man open, but it, it looked like Tim Carter just kind of forgot where he was and looked away from it. So the Eagles will get the punt. They'll take over at their own 40. Bruce Perry takes this one up the middle on first down, gets about three yards on that one. Second and seven, Blake looking to pass this time drops it back throws one to the right side who else but T.O. getting nine yards on that hook route for the first down we're now looking at the Giants 48 Giants territory Perry takes a room run up the middle he has a lot of rim shakes and bakes away from one defender that's a 13 yard gain getting further into Giants territory Blake slings this one over the middle has T.O. it's a 16 yard gain and a second first down in as many tries but the momentum halts right there he would get sacked by hand for a loss of five that brings up a second and 15 Blake dropping back slings this one away to the right side trying to find T.O. on the delayed slant route but that one's going to find find its way to the turf incomplete third and 15 Blake throwing it again over the middle I think that one was also to T.O. but it is again falling incomplete and David Akers has a chance for redemption another 41 yard field goal and that one is going to get through the uprights it is good and the Eagles will score again, going up 16-10. to 10. But of course, a touchdown will put the Giants right back in front and in the lead of this one. Warner throws his first pass incomplete. Second and 10, dropping back again, throwing it over to the left side. That one's going to be caught by Toomer. Gets over the line with that one. So the defensive pass interference would be declined. Move those chains for the Giants. Barber breaks off a six-yard run to the right side. Trotter and Lewis in there on the stop. Second and four. Barber getting the call again. One tackle misses, and that gives Barber the opportunity to get a five-yard gain. Moving the chains again for the Giants. First and ten from their own 45. Barber gets a toss to the left side this time. Javon Kurse getting off the line and his offensive tackle for the tackle. Seven, second and seven. Warner passes incomplete, but now the Philadelphia Eagles are starting to get hit with those defensive passes. 
pass interference penalties. This one is going to go on Sheldon Brown again, and we got first down in Philadelphia territory for the Giants up at the 44. Barber gets up the middle, four or five yards. Michael Lewis in there on the tackle. It's going to be a second and five. Barber runs it again to the left, has some room, sheds off of Lito Shepard, gets taken down by Dawkins, but that's an eight yard gain. First and 10 for the Philadelphia 31. Quick drop back, quick throw. Ike Hilliard has it. Quentin Jammer just missed the tackle there and no one is going to touch Ike Hilliard as we prophesize it and it comes true. He gives the ball to a lucky fan because that is the ball that gave the New York Giants the lead here in the Meadowlands and the Giants have gone up on the Philadelphia Eagles 17 to 16. Still plenty of time left but the Eagles definitely need to get back into the end zone or at least get another field goal sometime soon if they want to come out of this NFC gauntlet with a positive record on the first and 10 it was incomplete on the second and 10 he throws it to the right side that went somehow behind john ritchie the fullback also incomplete third and 10 blake dropping back going for the gusto looking for pk sam deep and pk sam he has he underthrows his man but pk makes a great turning catch and he has the jets to burn that is a 76 yard touchdown reception for our rookie free agent signing that we only signed Two days ago, my guy was sitting on the couch watching these games, staying ready, hoping he would get the opportunity, and PK Sam has come in and gotten the opportunity for not only an NFL team, but an NFL team that is currently a favorite to go through and win the whole dang thing. So PK Sam, welcome to the league. You now have your first touchdown of your NFL career and the Eagles are up by a score of 23 to 17. Giants not to be outdone. Warner throws one deep and that one is hauled in by Tim Carter. A huge gain of 32 yards and they will move right into Eagles territory and Barber will move them further. He gets over to the left side. We honestly thought he was going to run out of bounds but he does his little tippy toe thing. That is a 17 yard gain and on the very next play, Jeremy Shockey finally gets involved in the offense, pulls in a 14-yard reception, three first downs on just three plays, and another reception there to Ike Hilliard, who does actually step out of bounds. That's going to be a six-yard gain. Barber gets another run there, counters to the left side, and you see Michael Lewis just hustling and bustling all the way over to that left side to make sure he doesn't get across the first down line. Warner throwing for the third down. He does find his man, but his man is out of bounds. It's going to lead to a 27-yard field goal as the clock winds down on the third quarter. We're going to get one play here before the fourth quarter ends. It's now 23-20. to 20. The Eagles are still up on the Giants. Bruce Perry gets up there in the middle for four yards, and that is going to bring us to the fourth quarter. We're already at the fourth quarter of our third game that we've had in this NFC East gauntlet. Let's see if the Eagles can come away with their second victory out of three. On the second down run, Perry gets a, not a lot of space. He gets five yards up the middle, and then John Ritchie does what he does. He gets across that first down line. It's going to be a first down for the Philadelphia Eagles. First and 10 from the Philadelphia 42. Perry gets up the middle for another six yards. He gets the toss to the right side. Only really has one man to beat, but he can't beat Williams. Only gets a two-yard gain on that one. Third and two. Blake passes over to the left side to Chad Lewis, who can't handle it. And, oh, look. We're showing a punt. What could that mean? Is Are the Giants about to score one? Nope, they're about to muff the punt, baby. You can't hold on to it. We got a hot potato. Jabril Wilson can't handle the punt. And Philadelphia zone, J.R. Reed jumps right on top of that one. And just like that, the Eagles are in scoring territory. We love to see it. Perry gets the pass from Jeff Blake there. Gets a little shake and bake going. Gets 11 yards and suddenly it's a first and goal from the New York 7. How the fortunes have changed for this one. Perry showing off his juke moves. Gets 3 yards out of what seemed like nothing. Perry goes up the middle for another 3 yards. Getting even closer to that goal line. And we think we, I mean, he's done all the work. We gotta get him in the end zone. Bruce Perry puts this one a little bit further out of reach. The touchdown for the Eagles puts them up. 30 to 20 in this one, and now the Giants have some work to do. Warner, that first pass is incomplete. And the next pass, he does find Amani Toomer, and he stretches over that first down line. Jeremiah Trotter on the tackle, but that is a first down over at the Giants 45. Warner there trying to find Hilliard again. That one is deflected away by Quinton Jammer. Second and 10. Warner passing to the left side this time. Tim Carter can't haul that one in. Good defense from Lito Shepard. Third and 10. Warner strikes gold. He has Jamar Taylor who bobbles it, catches it. Dawkins just completely overruns the tackle there and the Giants get into the end zone. The blimp is flying. The Giants faithful have hope. 
You can see this one again, Jamar Taylor, who didn't have a catch since the first quarter. It hits his hands, it bounces up in the air, he hauls it in, and he is gone for a 55-yard touchdown reception. It is now 27-30. to 30. The Eagles are trying to hold on to this lead and milk the rest of the clock in for this one. So you're going to see a lot of running right here. we got to get a couple of first downs, and these first two runs are not the way to get the first down. So the Eagles risk the biscuit. Jeff Blake rolls to his right to throw. You know it's going to T.O., and the Giants manage to leave him open. He gets through for the first down. The Giants have to take a timeout now that we're inside of the two-minute warning. The first down is definitely going to do it, but we really only just needed to run it out a couple of times. John Ritchie does get that first down that we needed, and Jeff Blake would go ahead and kneel this one out all the way to the finish, and the Eagles would survive, and they would thrive. They will take the victory here at the Giants Stadium here in the East Meadowlands by a score of 30 to 27. The Philadelphia fans are very unintelligently talking their ish to the faithful of the Giants in New York City. Not really sure how smart that is, but regardless, the Eagles take home their second victory in three games they have officially run the nfc gauntlet and they have come through mostly unscathed two wins out of three you can see here the stats for the day jeff blake had another good day at the office 12 for 26 228 yards one touchdown and one interception kurt warner had a pretty good day too but our defense did its thing bruce perry honestly bruce perry is is doing great he's coming in he's got 18 attempts 80 yards one touchdown my guy's only rated in the 50s and he's arguably having the best year out of any of our running backs that we have on the roster mostly because he's not getting hurt and that's really great pk sam the hero of this one two receptions 99 yards one touchdown including that 75 yard touchdown catch that really made everything happen for us it was the catalyst to the rest of our offense Tio had seven receptions for 90 yards dawkins and michael lewis held it down for our defense today they both had seven total tackles a piece if you count between the regular tackles and the assisted tackles you see that Corey simon had those two big sacks today pretty much one right after the other but we love seeing our defensive line breaking through in some real way brian dawkins also got on the ball a little bit and quentin jammer managing to take in his one and only interception for the eagles so far so we ran our nfc east gauntlet you can see we're going to come back next time playing the Green Bay Packers, and you can see we're jumping right back into that NFC East play after having the Washington football team and the Dallas Cowboys after that. Taking a look at our injury update, you can see McNabb. Now Westbrook is out with that fractured arm for 17 weeks. We're hoping that that heals a little bit faster than usual, and we're getting closer and closer to getting to Honey Jones back. Let's take a look at the power rankings. We haven't looked at the power rankings yet. We're sitting at third right now. Buffalo having an amazing city season. Indianapolis having an amazing season. Kansas City and New England is also up there. But you can see that we are clearly the class of the NFC right now. Not just the NFC East, but the NFC. Looking at the standings, the Packers are actually the only other team that are kind of close to us. And we'll be able to tell just how close they are when we play them in the next one. The Bills and the Colts having a great season. You can see the Patriots are also sniffing at the heels of the Bills. But it's nice to see the Buffalo Bills having that success. And the Chiefs and the Broncos are battling it out over on that side of the AFC as well. So we're looking forward to our next time that we come back. We're going to have the Packers. We may also have a second episode in there as well. So especially if you've made it this far, like the video, comment on the video, tell us what you thought of the longer form of the video, and definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel. We are on the road to 500. Every subscription counts. Once again, we're trying to get as many subscriptions on this video as possible, and maybe even set a like goal. Let's try to get as many likes on this video as possible. So thank you for so, so much for coming out. We always live stream these games, so if you want to come and hang out on a live stream, we would love to have you. And until next time, Peanuts 24-7, signing out.